Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie's going to be talking about volume profile so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. All right, David's asking, which volume profile do you select with TradingView? The, the one that's built in, first of all, and you can get to it by going to indicators, technicals, profiles, and then volume profile, and then you look at the viewable range profile. So here's the E-mini, bigger version. We go up to indicators, technicals, profiles, Visible range volume profile down here at the bottom. You need a subscription, the minimal subscription, in order to use this version of the profile. So that means it's something like $15 a month. I usually buy it by the year. It ends up being like $190. It's the best $190 you'll ever spend. All right, so we choose that. Now, setting it up is another thing because it comes out in this ghastly form here that is completely useless. We're using volume profile because we're exploiting something called market memory. And market memory is this property of the market where abrupt changes in volume that occur over literally years have lasting effect on current prices. And we can see these abrupt changes and they persist over a long period of time. And they create like indents in the market, like a structure really almost like a physical structure that affects how the market behaves in real time. So that's why we're using the volume profile. There's a lot of academic papers that have been written on it. There's more than a hypothesis, but uh, a lot of stuff written by Benoit Mandelbrot, one of the most famous mathematicians of all time. And everything that I do on volume profile is based on that work. I actually discovered it before I even knew that Benoit Mandelbrot had written up on market memory. Actually, he wrote it up on something even more generalized called system memory. But once I found it, I said, damn, that's what I've been practicing for the past 20 years. But it's good to see that, you know, you get a famous mathematician that supports your work. But anyways, what we want to do is when you get the profile, you want to adjust it. The very first adjustment is to get rid of all this up down. You don't need that. So we go up down, we go to total. The other thing is a lot of people talk volume profile and they say, hey, there is this value area high and value area low, they'll say something like this, 70% of the profile represents one standard deviation of all the volume that's moved. And therefore, we need to highlight that area and then use it as support and resistance, which is all bullshit because the market has no idea that where that line is. So we get rid of that. So that's where it says our value area volume. We turn that to 100 so that everything is lightened. You don't have this dark light area crap, right? The next thing we do is we want to get the full resolution because we're trying to see exactly where volume has changed and where it's persisting at very precise levels. So we want this resolution to be as high as possible. Right now, this big clunkiness is doing us absolutely no good. It doesn't really give us that resolution. And so the way we do that is there are a number of ways. You can say the number of rows, which would be the total number of rows, you can make that something very high, like a thousand or 2000. That should usually do it. Then you get the resolution that you're looking for so that you can actually tell where those abrupt changes in volume from high volume to low volume are. So that's what we're doing. That's volume profile. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.